Now, following the invasion of former President Uhuru Kenyatta's Northlands farm by a group of youth, a section of leaders from central Kenya have expressed concern over the direction in which the country is heading. A number of them have condemned the act, saying that it would lead the country to chaos. This even as others sent an appeal to ODM leader Raila Odinga to call off the Azimio demos. Here's Clement Masombo with more. The Monday's invasion into immediate former President Uhuru Kenyatta's Northlands farm in Kiambu County has divided leaders in the region. While some have condemned the act, others have pointed an accusing finger at Yasmeo protests, but others have come out to accuse the police officers for failing to act as required. And it is sad because the primary responsibility of every government, one is food security, primary objective of any government on earth. The first one is food security. Second, is protection of property, both public and private. It is not wanted. It is not the route to go. I am calling on all of us to re-examine our conscience. Hii unaona wale wanaona kwamba kuna wale walikuwa ile umrengo ya azimio wameingilia serikali. Nao wanasema waje sasa sisi tusimame tuweze kulinda ile serikali tuliunda. Kwa hivyo ni mambo inaweza leta gumzo. On Monday, as the supporters of the Azimio Lomoja, one Kenya leader, Raila Odinga, engaged the police in running battles in Kenya's capital of Nairobi, a group of unidentified youth invaded the over 10,000 acres parcel of land with machetes and caused destruction of property by cutting down trees and took away livestock from the farm before setting the farm on fire later in the evening. A section of leaders have come out to speak about the issue and their reactions were varied. So if the government is there and could not protect the interest of a former president then how safe are we i appeal to our leaders let us look for another way of resolving our problem let us look for another way of assisting our people to be able to get their livelihood without a lot of strain and sometimes we put them into trouble because of our own political interests my call to Kenyans is to avoid invading private property and I would call on the political class to try and uh, tell their supporters to maintain peace because we don't want to sink the country into anarchy. At the same time, the leaders also sent an appeal to President William Bruto and his rival as a new leader, Raila Odinga, to hold dialogue to avert a situation where the country slides into anarchy. If they think that Uhuru is causing economic sabotage, and they think he is the one who is leading the economic sabotage. We have laws. Go and arrest him and take him to court. If they believe that what Raila is doing is against the law, let them go to the, let them, let them go and arrest Raila. We will be wasting our Mondays on uh, unnecessary uh, destruction of property. And uh, to me, I, I feel this is not the right direction to take. The Azimio Lomoja, one Kenya leader, Raila Odinga, has reiterated that the opposition-led demonstrations will continue on Mondays and Thursdays until the government hits their call to reduce the high cost of living among other demands. Clement Masombo, KTN News. Six people have died, among them three minors, due to flash floods following a heavy downpour in Old Jurai in Gilgil, Nakuru County. Several others have been displaced and the Red Cross and police officers are tracing them for resettlement. Elsewhere, the search for the body of a teacher are underway in River Lusumu in Mumia's East, Kakamega County. Joseph Ayoti was involved in a road accident on the river's bridge, plunging into the river. The teacher was heading home when his car hit a motorcycle before plunging.